Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Me and my wife is at the famous Bass Pro Shop. We're gonna go in here and see if we can uh, get some lures, maybe a couple rods, who knows. She knows how I get once I get into a fishing store, so uh, I don't know what I'm gonna pick up, but we're gonna pick up something pretty cool, hopefully, and uh, see if we can take it out there and use it on the boat and uh, do a couple of videos with it. So I'm gonna get back to you once I get inside and see if we can pick up some nice new lures, maybe a rod, some reel, who knows. So guys, stay tuned. All right guys, we're in here right now and of course, the wife is doing most of shopping, how it always goes. <laughs> Already picking up hats and stuff like that. So I might try to find us both a hat because we really don't have one for the boat anymore. I think my dog ate my last one. So <laughs> we're gonna sit here and see if we can find some hats or something, a little protective gear for the, the boat. and. Then we'll get on to the fishing. All right, guys, we're in here shopping right now. Um, I'm thinking about looking at a bigger tackle bag. I'm not 100% sure because I'm running out of space in my smaller tackle bag. So I'm gonna end up uh, having to upgrade that soon, eventually. Oh, shoot, we're looking at cast nets. I told the wife I was gonna teach her how to throw a cast net. Let's see what kind they got here. Huh? They got the Super Pro. Uh, what else I can they start got? Off with the kitty one. <laughs> yeah, that one actually comes with the ring in the middle. What's that for? It makes you open, you throw a perfect pancake every time. Though. Like no matter what. Gotcha. Like you always throw a pancake. It's a three and a half or more butter. Yeah, but at that price, you might as well. Get a little, uh, I think you'll honestly be able to throw a six footer or a seven footer. Mm -hmm. All right, so we might sit here and actually pick out a small cast net for her to throw. She wants to learn. It'd be nice to be able to pull up on the, on the spot and actually let her throw the net for her once or twice. Save <laughs> my back, you know what I'm saying? I think I might try one of these snook jigs here. I know it's getting summertime, so snooks are about to start thumping these jigs. I haven't thrown them in a long time, which I might have my buddy make me a couple, uh, have my buddy make me a couple handmade ones because he ties jigs, so might see if he can do that for me. But we're gonna see if we can pick up a couple of new lures and see, uh, if we can uh, go out and put some fish on them, hopefully. I think I'm gonna try that dock demon. I've seen people catching big fish on these. The hogies, it's tarpon season too, so that might be really good for tarpon. They're only like 10 bucks. I think I'm gonna grab two of these. I see people throwing these all the time, so I'm gonna grab two of these never tried them before see these are 6.5 inches 6.5 6.5 like yeah they're all six and a half pretty much so i'm gonna try a purple and probably oh that would probably look real good huh mm -hmm. all right so we're gonna go with these two choices here put the right put that over there all right didn't you see these no, no, I haven't threw this for. I think I tried the smaller versions, but yeah, that's what I mean. never that one. I used to throw the issue of Zuri's a lot or Paula's, but I need to start trolling a lot more. We had a lot of Spanish Mac in the harbor lately, so and Snook and Jack they love trolling lures, so but to get one of those. Oh, the, yeah. I usually say storms, the storm swim baits, yeah. And we're gonna find some jig heads because I got a couple of um, packs of lures that I have no jigs for. So we're gonna see if we can find a couple packs of jig heads to go along with what I have already. And so far, I ended up getting the DOA shrimp, those two hoagies. 
and that's for probably tarping or something like that but i'm gonna see if i can put a big snook on one of these the wife already got it in the basket we're gonna see if we can get a big snook on that and i might throw that some tarpon now because we do have tarpon season coming up or actually tarpon is in full effect right now out in bumper ram pass so that'd be pretty cool to see if we can actually get a tarpon to eat one of those so hopefully we can do that we're gonna look for some weird lures that won't normally get uh, thrown around here. Let's see if we can get a big fish on them. All right, guys, I just picked up some VMC 3.0 circle hooks, and I also picked up some 4.0 circle hooks. Gonna see how those last. Uh, all my hooks and stuff inside my tackle box starting to rust out, so. I need to figure out how you guys keep hooks and stuff from rusting out. So if any of my subscribers want to drop a comment below and tell me how do they keep salt water out from rusting out their hooks or the tackles, I will greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, we're going to start picking up some split shots. I ran out of split shots, so we're going to see what size we need i think i want to get a little bit bigger ones than that i don't know if i want the packs for that uh, smaller huh i think i might go with i like them in the packs though i don't really like buying having these carrying cases the packs are nice and easy to just pop open because I got the reclosable pouch there, so I really don't know if I like the the cases, but I definitely need some split shots. So I think I'm gonna get just in case the current's ripping. Get a couple packs of these. Gonna be good. I need a little bit bigger than this. I don't see them having any packs bigger than these right here. So might as well get like two packs of these. And we're, good thing about split shots, if you need more weight, you just add another split shot on. So that's pretty easy. All right, so we're gonna go find, I wanna find the rod that, I think they call it like a dock demon or something like that. So we're gonna see if we can find that little rod. And I wanna do a challenge on that rod to see what's the biggest fish I can catch on that dock demon. Even if it's a pet snook at the freaking ramp, even if it's, it doesn't matter, I just want to see what is the biggest fish I can catch on one of these reels, these rods. And I have the perfect reel actually for that rod. And we're going to walk around and see if we can kind of find that. Hopefully they have it in stock. We'll see. What are you looking for? Me? Uh, but yeah, so we're going to see if we can find that dock demon somewhere around here. Oh, these are all fly rods. This is something I really want to get into as well. But uh, that's going to take some time. Because fly fishing, that's pretty, that's pretty badass. Wow. I don't see how people... So what do you... Oh, you cast it up here. Oh, uh, okay. I get it. That's where you reel at, yep. Oh, wow. That's different. That's really different. It is really light action. Guys, I might have to uh, see if I have any of you subscribers that actually does, um, any of my subscribers that actually does fly fishing and want to actually teach me how to do some fly fishing because I wouldn't mind doing that. that That's been something I, I wanted to try. Uh, this is one of the chairs they have on sale here for 100 bucks. It actually comes with the rod holders in it. But that's lazy, boy. Tackle tray down here, too. Oh, tackle tray underneath. All right. Got your cup holders right here. Cup holders right here. Another rod holder right there. Oh, and you can strap yourself in there. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a carrying bag on the back. Oh, that's just a carrying bag. All right. But if you want to strap yourself, you can strap yourself. So, <laughs> And this is actually what I need because we're gonna start doing a lot more beach fishing. And these in Boca Grande will be excellent. 
because I have the hard tires. Yeah, no, it's very light. Good. I think it's like what, 300 bucks. Yep. That 329. One. This one's probably a little bit cheaper, but I don't Just a little bit. Price tag on this one. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six rod holders. This has four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's probably a little bit cheaper. Yeah. So, and this one actually has a measuring, a measuring yeah, thing right there. You can measure your fish right here. Option Pretty there. sweet. Uh, I think it's right there. Isn't that it right there? Uh, the deluxe yeah. beach. Yeah, that's it right there. No price tag. Sure, have to ask him. But yeah, so guys, like I was saying, if one of you guys do some fly fishing and want to uh, throw me an invite to teach me how to do it, that'd be awesome. So we're gonna go around and see if we can find a couple more things to throw in the old cart, and then we're gonna go have some lunch. So let's see if we can find the Doc Demon. All right, guys. Unfortunately. They don't have the dock demon, what I was looking for here. So we're probably gonna run to Dick's Sporting Good and see if they have it over there because it says online that they have it. So we're gonna go jump next door, check out here, and go see what Dick's have over there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be back to you when we get to Dick's. All right, so we're out of there. I got out of there uh, pretty unscathed compared to the wife. I ended up paying like five bucks for everything, had some gift cards, and she <laughs> ended up paying 30. So I'm pretty happy about this. I don't know how I yeah, spent more yeah, than you. Don't want to hear it. That's, don't I don't, don't want to hear it. <laughs> how do I well, go Well, first back of all, row? I told her not to get what she got, but she wanted to get what she got. So what she got what call? she get, what she get, what she got. All right, you guys get it. But anyways, guys, so we're gonna head over to Dick Sporting, which we might have to grab a bite to eat first. Pretty hungry, but I think Dick Sporting Goods pretty close to us. So we might just go to Dick so we can sit down and eat properly. Guys, stay tuned, baby. All right, guys, we just got to Dick Sporting Goods. We're walking in, baby. Let's go. All right, guys. We're um, searching around for the old Doc Demon. And I don't see it so far. Oh, uh, might be. Not sure. Yeah, those are minis, but they're not the... Doc Demon, they might not sell them no more. They said it was here. Huh. I know that's not, no, that's not it there. Let's see. Hopefully we can uh, find what we're looking for, hopefully. see him uh, I think it's about Zepco oh. yeah I think it's about Zepco yeah Zepco? yeah I don't even see they're smaller like even one smaller than that one that's about the smallest you're gonna get guys honestly it looks like they might not have it here from what we can see so far. Hmm. Yeah. So, I don't see it here, unfortunately. And my wife was just thinking that uh, maybe I should get one of those little mystery tackle boxes, which I think I just found. Nope, I don't think that's it either. I was thinking that this would be the one, but that's not it either. Hmm. Maybe a one piece right now. So my wife was thinking that I should do one of the mystery tackle boxes, which I think I might end up doing that. I still gotta buy a small cast net to teach her how to throw a net. I'm not sure what size I should start with. So if you guys have an idea of what size I should start off with for trying to teach her how to throw a cast net, 
drop that in the comments below please and thank you all right guys they don't have it so unfortunately we have to order it online and see if we can get it that way because none of the stores he looked it up and nobody unfortunately had it so we're gonna um, order it online and i already got a reel for that which i'll be going over that too probably in another video once it comes in once we order it so all right guys we're gonna head out of here and go grab a bite to eat we'll be back to you at the house we'll give you a little haul of all the goodies that we bought you know so guys stay tuned see you at the house all right guys we're back at the house well actually technically it's a new day i was really tired yesterday i feel like uh going over the rest of the video but it's a new day and i'm here to show you guys what we picked up from bash pro shops got the wife a new hat for the boat we need to get something for her because she always gets sunburnt so hopefully we can get her a little bit of shade out there uh this by hulk it has some nice beach print right there pretty nice little hat i think it was only like 25 bucks or something like that also end up picking up some new hook these are the mustads i think these are the 40 circle hooks i think it comes in a pack of 25. i also picked up the 30 circle hook mustad the ultra points and i used to use these brands a lot and then i switched over to the vmc's but i'm gonna give these back a try i love the vmc's but their circle hooks are a little different and i just uh sometimes they just miss a lot of fish so i'm actually going to go back to the mustang see how these work out these are 30 uh, the three odds and it's 25 in this as well also end up picking up some different split shots got two packs right there always like to use the split shots i will show you how i like to rig my baits with using split shots depending on the current situation of where you're fishing at if you're using white bait, if you're using shrimp, if you're fishing bridges, deep water, I always like to put one split shot on to help that bait get down and drift with the current. Um, you really don't want to put too many on there because it starts making your bait looks unnatural. So it depends on how much current you have rolling through wherever you're fishing at. You also can use that for if you're bottom fishing and you don't want to put a big egg weight on or anything like that. You can just add a split shot and that should help you out as well. So we got a couple packs of those also got two of these i know a lot of big snook guys tarpon guys love to throw the hoagies and i end up getting the uh, 6.5 got the gray one there and i also got the um, 6.5 it's like a purple let me see what do they call this color uh this is a paddle black and this one is also paddle silver and this is four ounces so you can use these at bridges, fishing the Boca Grande Pass, um, maybe even offshore, taking it on the bottom, bouncing it up, jigging it while you're drifting. Probably get something that way, or just throw it at some rolling tarpon, or just for big snook fishing. Either way, if you got a lot of current, I think these would be perfect. They're pretty heavy, so I will probably throw these on my bigger setup, probably my Slammer 5500, and that'll probably have, I think I got 60 pound braid on there, 60 or 80. And also tying on a party about a 60, 80, or if you're going for tarpon, probably even 100. Just so you get that, you know, so they don't break you off or fray you off or if they tell slap it or whatever, anything like that. So I will be going over a video of how I'm going to rig these up as well on the setup I'm going to use to show you guys that. I also picked up this DOA shrimp. It's a six inch jumbo shrimp, one ounce. Um, I'm thinking that a big snook will eat this um i never threw a doa shrimp this big normally i think i throw the 3.5s or the four inch uh doa shrimp and they work fantastic so i think using this shrimp probably be good probably use this for bridge fishing as well um getting a little bit of current taking it popping it in the current even throw it at some rolling fish uh redfish probably in a big trout to eat this as well jack tarpon so there's a number of things that are probably either six inch shrimp. Um, summertime now, so I think this bait probably will work very good. And we're definitely gonna be taking that out, testing this, seeing if we can get a big fish on this. Also, the wife picked me up a new tackle tray for my hooks and stuff like that. I got a tendency of uh, getting my hooks and my bag wet. 
from sitting down on the floor of the boat when you cast things, stuff like that. Then, you know, you get water on and end up rusting out. So this is a sealed box right there. So I got to end up uh, probably getting my split shots and some of my hooks in there. And I'll probably go through my old tackle bag and see if I can get <clears throat> whatever I can savage out of my other hooks. Because a lot of them rusted out. That's the reason why I bought these two packs. So this is a pretty cool little box there. I think it was like 10 bucks or something like that. Not sure how much that costs. And also, we're going to be doing a lot of more keeping fish and a lot more catch, clean, and cooks. So she ended up giving me some of these right here. And these are the 12 fillet bags, fillet bags. It's uh, freezer ready fillet bags, uh, catch, keeps uh, catch fresh, fresh longer. Uh, can be zip closed and vacuum sealed, stored easily, oxygen blocker. And this is pretty sweet. So you can fillet your fish, put them in here, you can vacuum seal them, just store them in here. And it's supposed to stop it, the oxygen from getting to your fish. That way, if you know you don't have a vacuum sealer or something like that, you can put them in here and get a little bit more life out of your fish before you have to cook them, or you know you freeze them or whatever. So this is pretty cool. I can't wait to use these. Um, we're gonna start, like I said, we're gonna be doing a lot more catch, clean, and cooks with these. But I am gonna be doing a video throwing these, either a nighttime video for. So like I said, guys, we're definitely gonna be doing a review on the hoagies, swim baits, and also the DOA uh, six inch shrimp. I really wanna get a big fish on one of these two. Like I said, it's summertime now, the bait's everywhere, fish are feeding heavy. Um, jacks, snook, tarpon, I think a big trout will hit this as well. So we're gonna, even a big redfish, if you get a big enough redfish, they'll definitely try to hit that. So guys, that's our little haul. Um, I was pretty excited yesterday. It's been a while since I've been to Bass Pro, so I thought I would just take you guys along, let you guys see what I'm buying, and we're also gonna give some demo videos on using some of these baits, showing you how I rig up these, uh, the mustad hooks too, and show you how I rig them, what knots I use, what setup I use, and stuff like that. So guys, if you like this video, please do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, drop me some comments also don't forget to hit that bell notification so you get notified every time i drop a video until the next video guys tight lines peace